Hey guys. Happy Monday. How are you? Just jotting down a few notes, things I can't forget to tell you. <clears throat> it is time for another Make It Monday. Get all my stuff set up here. I want to make sure I can see all my comments and get to chat with all of you. <clears throat> As you guys are um, popping on live, make sure to say hi. Hi, Jody. Hi, Carol. I've got four people watching already. Wow, that's awesome. Um, say hello. Tell us where you're from. I love to chat with you while I'm stamping. Hi, Rhonda. Welcome. Thanks for watching, you guys. <clears throat> Whew, I gotta tell you, it has been a whirlwind of a week since I was last live. It's been crazy. Uh, hi, Lorraine. Welcome. Glad you could watch and join tonight. Um, I actually totally forgot until I was doing my drawing for prizes tonight that I didn't even get my um, prizes in the mail from last week. They're sitting right here and they didn't get mailed. And um, oh my gosh, it's been so crazy with Christmas and everything. And John and I are taking a little uh, time off. We're taking a little vacation and spending some time doing some ice fishing this week. So I will not get a chance to get them in the mail until next weekend. So I'm so sorry for those of you waiting for your prizes. Honestly, if I had mailed with the Christmas holiday, I don't know that you would have gotten it much quicker anyway, to be honest. Oh my goodness, I tell you, those mail people are working like crazy and uh, they really have a tough job during the holiday season and this year seems to be a little bit even more tough than usual. So hi, Julie. Hi, Robin. Hi, Jean. Thanks for watching. So glad you ladies could join me tonight. Um, okay, so as you're popping on, as I mentioned, say hi, tell me where you're from. Also, I love, love, love when you share my videos. That really, really helps to support my small business. So if you could just take a minute and hit that share button right down there, post it on your wall, share it with some of your friends. I so appreciate that. Um, if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you're catching the replay, uh, make sure that you're subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you're catching this um, from my blog, make sure you take a minute and subscribe to my newsletter so that you don't miss any other events from me. Plus, when you subscribe to my YouTube, or <coughs> to my newsletter, I send you a PDF tutorial for 15 cards. So you can add that to your stash and it's super fabulous and amazing. Um, I've got some changes coming. Um, I am not gonna be live anymore on lunchtime on Wednesdays. So I knew that that would not necessarily be super long lived because um, I would not be working from home indefinitely. And my work schedule is changing a little bit, so Wednesdays are not going to work out for me. But I will still be here every Monday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. So that's my big news. Um, the other news is I am so excited because next week I am rolling out along with the new catalog that comes out. And tonight I'm giving you a sneak peek of some stuff in that catalog. I am rolling out classes by mail, and I'm so excited for this, you guys. I have been butterflies in my tummy excited for this. I hope that you will love, love, love my classes by mail. I'm really excited to offer them to you. And actually, the products we're using tonight is going to be a little sneak peek at the um, bundle that I'm going to be designing my first class by mail around. So I hope you guys will really, really love it. Next Monday night is gonna be really special because it is my celebration kickoff and spring catalog kickoff. So I'm really excited for that. 
It'll be seven o'clock Central Standard Time, just like normal, but it's even bigger because it's the kickoff of our new catalog that um, is going live on Tuesday the 5th. So there's some fabulous freebies that you can get during celebration. So I'm so excited about that. Okay. <clears throat> I think that we should do some prizes tonight. I see a lot of people have hopped on. Thank you so much for sharing. I see Julie and Bernetta and Cher commented that they shared. Thank you, I so appreciate that. <clears throat> Every week that I go live, I give away um, two prizes at least. And let me move some of my notes out of the way because I told you all the important things I had to tell you. So the first prize, is the card that we made last week, the super pretty watercolor card. Gorgeous, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this card from people who have seen the replay. And um, this card um, is the prize for likes and comments. So the more that you like, the more that you comment, the better your chance. And the winner of this card is Marie Shell. Marie Shell. So Marie, I don't have your address. I need your address. If you could please um, shoot me a private message or send me an email with your address, I will get this in the mail to you at the same time as this other prize pile that I didn't get to this week. Wow, I see some new people watching um, North Carolina. Cool, I love North Carolina, Vicki. I was there when I was 16 for a softball tournament in the Outer Banks. We were in Kill Devil Hills and it's like my favorite place, one of my favorite places that I've ever been. So super exciting. All right, my next prize is this card kit to make this adorable um, hummingbird card. And I've designed this kit so that even if you're a beginner stamper, you can put this together. You would just, if you don't have the stamp set yet, you can swap that out, no problem. But if you want to bling it up, there's lots of space for you to do that. And this is the prize for sharing. And our winner is Sandra Lee. So Sandra, thank you so much for sharing my video. I so, so appreciate it. And if, um, Sandra, I don't have your address either. So if you could pop me an email, countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com or a private message and get me your address, I'll get that in the mail to you this weekend. So I think that we should do some stamping and get some sneak peeks going on. I'm so excited for this. What do you guys think? Let me flip this around. Okay. Um, let's see here. By the way, if you are looking to, um, you want to get in that prize drawing for sharing, make sure you comment shared after you share it because, um, Facebook changed all their privacy stuff and I can't always see who shares. So if you comment, then I can kind of connect the dots. Okay. I've got extra light going here. Hopefully this uh, glare isn't too much. Tonight I'm stamping with the Dragonfly Garden Bundle. So this is a new stamp set that goes live on next Tuesday, the 5th. Um, I love this. You know that John and I love to fish, and so we're always seeing dragonflies out on the lake. It reminded me of the lake, and oh my gosh, I was so excited to see this come out. And I love me some punches, people. Punches are so easy. And this one I love has the big dragonfly, but also the little tiny dragonfly. And that is a bundle. You save 10% when you purchase it. We're also using, <clears throat> now, I haven't played around much with these, but I am going to do a lot more crafting with this. We're using the Dandy Garden Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. And this is a pack of 20 cards and 20 envelopes. So you've got matching envelopes and card bases that come in here. And they make card making so, so easy. And I'm also using the Dandy Garden Memories and More Card Pack. Now I've used some of these pieces, but I've used some and you can still see how many pieces come in here. And this is all for like 10 bucks. 
These are all little double-sided cards. I flipped them around already so you can kind of see the different patterns. Aren't these beautiful? And if you are a scrapbooker and buy the Memories and More packs, you can kind of tuck these in to those clear packs. This one also comes with some stickers that you can use and stamp on and kind of stick onto your project. Some sentiments, these are stickers too that you can already stick on. I love that, that makes it so easy. And then some bigger pieces. Again, these are all double-sided. And they're thick and sturdy and just so much you can do with this. So we're gonna make some projects playing around with this stuff tonight. I'm really excited because I whipped these up in no time and they're beautiful. I think you're gonna love them. <clears throat> um, a little tip, I like to store because these are all loose pieces and once you take that cellophane off, they're kind of flopping all over the place. So I like to store these in an empty stamp case and then they fit on my shelf really, really easily. <clears throat> okay, so for the first card, I've got this piece measured. We're gonna grab a card base and an envelope from our pack. And I'm just gonna show you how simple this is. Um, this card base is already scored and you just take your bone folder and fold it. It's thick and sturdy and you've already got a card base and a matching envelope. Kay says those kits are nice. They, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that Kay. That makes my night. Um, okay. And then the envelope you can fold over and score as well. And you see how when you open it up, it totally matches your card. Like this is awesome, super professional stuff. What do you guys think of these so far? Aren't these beautiful? Now, usually I have a nice clean surface to stamp on, but I was playing around today and I didn't get a chance to swap that out. So you're just gonna have to ignore all my ink stains here. Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna do some stamping on the inside of the card right away because we actually don't have to do a lot of stamping on the outside. And this is the paper we're gonna be using. So we've got some flowers. I think it'd be great to bring some of those onto the inside. So I'm gonna take my mossy meadow here. and just stamp these flowers. Okay, so let's stamp that here. Easy peasy, I love it. Now, if you want to um, do a sentiment inside, you definitely could do that. Let me clean off my stamp here quick. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave this blank so that I can stamp it later when I'm ready to send it or just write a note in here. Okay. I forgot to get a little piece of scrap out here. So I'm just grabbing that right now while I chat. All right. Now we've got two layers here. This is a piece of bumblebee and this piece of cardstock is two inches by six inches. We're going to use our triple banner punch. And we're going to punch the end of this into a little banner flag like this. Okay. And in our stamp set, we also have these cute little dragonflies. And I'm gonna stamp on my banner with those. I gotta find my bumblebee here. Okay. 
Robin, the, yes, Robin says these are beautiful and make great last minute cards. I love this. Um, now I'm doing some extra stamping, but if you didn't have time, it would be um, so easy for you to just put together something last minute. Okay, I'm stamping off so I get a little bit of a lighter tone here. And then what I'm doing is stamping across our banner. I think I'm gonna do just one more down like this. Some of this will be covered up, but I want this to be seeming like it's coming at a diagonal. Oof, just got ink all over my fingers. It's not stamping unless you get ink on your fingers, right ladies? Okay. <clears throat> Now, also in this suite of products is this Mossy Meadow braided linen trim. And I love our braided linen trim. It, um, it ties bows really easily and beautifully. They kind of stay in place and I like that. So what I'm gonna do, let me move this out of the way. I'm wrapping this around the top of my banner here. And I'm just gonna tie that in a bow over here on the side. I didn't waste as much as I usually do. I usually may <laughs> cut these pieces really super long and I end up wasting about half of it. So I was a little bit better at that this time. Okay. There we go. And then I'm just gonna trim the ends of my there. Cute. I have to have ribbon on my card, ribbon or trim or twine of some sort. <clears throat> so that's how I am bringing it in for this card. And now I'm just gonna adhere this banner onto my card with dimensionals. All right, put this right over here. Try to get this as straight as I can. There we go. And then um, this is from our Memories and More pack and it's just one of our sheets. It already says thinking of you. And that's what I'm going to use as my sentiment and adhere right to the front of my card like this. Now, this layer's already popped up on dimensionals. So I'm going to glue down this side and pop this other side up. That way we're kind of keeping our, keeping our layers the same. See how easy this is coming together with beautiful colors that already coordinate together. And when my online class goes live, you'll have the option to add on the Memories and More card pack if you want, so it can all be shipped together with um, the rest of the supplies. All right, now we've got our little dragonfly here. So I'm just going to pop out three of these guys. And I can, I'm watching here to make sure that I'm not wasting too much paper and just popping it out that way. I know Robin, can you believe I'm using glue? I'm out of my seal. Oh, I'm so upset that I'm out of seal. I ordered like 10 cartridges of the seal and um, it hasn't been delivered yet. I'm so 
frustrated that my seal is gone. I love stamping seals so much and it's gone. I had to use my glue. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now these little dragonflies, I'm I'm laughing so hard, Robin, that you noticed that. You guys, those of you that are new, every time I use seal, I say that I can hear angels singing because it's so smooth. It's like my favorite adhesive ever. And my cartridge ran out. It's gone. And I'm waiting for my new stuff to arrive. Oh, my gosh. So it's not going to be here till Wednesday. I can't even believe I'm holding out that long without seal. It feels like there should be, like, some emergency stash in my house that I forget about and then remember when I um, <laughs> run out. Okay, I'm taking these vellum dragonflies and I'm using a glue dot and I am just sticking them on my card front here like this. You can kind of take the wings if you want and flip them up like so and I need a little bling. So let me take some of my metallic pearls. Um, in my online class, you're going to get a package of metallic pearls too. So I'm going to take a couple of these. I think I'm going to put them right here on our dragonfly, right over where I put that glue dot, right on the dragonfly's back, and add a little bling to our little dragonflies. There we have it. Our first card is done. So that's how easy it is to create with these memories and more card packs. I love vellum too, Rhonda. Love it. I have like three packs in my emergency stash in case I run out. And then you've stamped on the inside and you've got a coordinating beautiful card that goes, envelope that goes with it. So that was the first card I made. Um, my desk is getting a little full. So let me just put some of this stuff away. Oops, oops, oops. My ink tower is coming undone here. All right. Now our next card, we're using three more of the card packs. Let's get out another card base. I'm telling you, these things are easy peasy and so pretty. I love them. I just love them. Okay. So let's prep our envelope. Prep our card base. It's already scored for us. So it folds so nice. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, um, wow. That was fast, Marsha. I agree. Marsha says that was fast. And thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Bernetta. Thanks, Lorraine. I so appreciate that. Okay. We've got our card base again. And <clears throat> moving some of my stuff out of the way. I don't think I need this triple banner punch anymore. So let me just pop that over here. Okay. From our Memories and More card pack, I'm going to use this um, piece that has like yellow stripes and on the back it says, today was a great day. I'm going to use the yellow stripes. I'm going to use this time together as well spent, but we're going to cut this. And then I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss here that is four and a quarter by three inches. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to glue this down just yet, but I am going to place it where I would like it. Okay, like so. Get my glue. No angel singing tonight, my friends. Just got to use my plain old glue. <laughs> the glue works awesome too. 
Are all the cards and envelopes the same color? Yes, in this pack they are, but in other memories and more packs, they are not. So there is a Valentine's one. I think it's sweet little Valentine memories and more. That one that's coming up in the new catalog is different colors and different card bases. And then in the big catalog, there's just a white set of Memories and More card bases. And those are all white, but they are different sizes. Um, this particular pack is just the card bases and envelope. You get 20 of them. And then a separate pack of all those colored pretty papers. Great question. I'm glad you asked that. OK. So now I've got this layer and I'm going to, because you know I have to have my ribbon, I'm going to wrap my Mossy Meadow braided linen trim around here. Whoops. We almost ripped that layer off. I hope I have enough of this. I think I ordered extra. Okay, and I am just going to tie this in a bow. I really, really love the Blackberry Bliss with Bumblebee. I love these colors together. And actually, I don't even think I, I mean, I knew that that color went well with like a yellow, but I didn't really realize how well until two of these pieces were kind of sitting on top of each other on my desk. And I looked and I thought, ooh. Now that is a nice color combination. Actually, that's sometimes how I come up with um, different color combinations for my card is I'll have been playing around and I've got all sorts of stacks of paper that I need to file away. And I look and I think, oh, those colors <laughs> look really nice together and they become layers for my next project. So, you know a little bit how I get inspired for some of that. Okay, I'm trying to make, I tied this really tight. Just want to make those loops a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to trim the ends here. Hi, Gail. Okay, now we're going to glue this to our card base. I can find my glue. Here we go. All right. And I'm lining up the edges. So this Blackberry Bliss piece that you've cut, it will go the entire width of your card. So I'm lining up that straight edge with the straight edge of the card. And because of this ribbon, it makes it a little hard. I'm just flipping it over so I can get that good and adhered and glued down. Okay, so we've got a layer on the card front that's got our mossy meadow wrapped around it. And Next, we've got this piece that says, time together is time well spent. And I'm gonna cut this down to two inches, but I want the saying, this is gonna be the sentiment for my card front. So I'm gonna measure from the bottom here, measure at two inches. I'll save this because you can use these scraps for so much. Don't throw those little scraps away. Okay. And this is going to tuck in here, and I want it popped up on dimensionals. So let's get that going. Aren't these coming together so simple? The paper does all the work for you. And I kind of like that because I like when something else does the work for me. <laughs> Ah, speaking of work, you guys will be happy to hear that I did do my Christmas Eve baking. 
I told you guys last week that I was in the mood to do some baking and John didn't think it was going to happen because he swore my mood would pass. And it didn't pass. I actually did the baking. I was really super proud of myself. So here's our card front. Now this would be beautiful just as it is, but you know, I got to add a little extra. So I'm going to take my dragonfly punch and I'm going to punch both a big and a little dragonfly out of our vellum. And I will adhere those again using glue dots. I'll put one down here. And then for the big one, I think I'm going to put two glue dots on to really make sure that he stays good. So I'll put one more near the head. And then one down a little bit further near the tail. And I'm just going to hear that here. I like to fold those wings up. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, this is so easy, you guys. Punches and pretty paper. It like goes together in no time. And we can stamp on the inside of our card. Let's see, what did we use on the outside? Blackberry Bliss, I think would be a good one to stamp inside. So let's find it here on my ink teller. Because we didn't really do any stamping at all on this card. You know, we love stamping. We got to have some stamping. This is funny. When I was putting this, um, the stickers on my dragonfly set here, I did not realize that we have two dragonflies. One has a solid tail and one has an open tail. And I put the wrong sticker on the wrong dragonfly. That's pretty cute, I think. And I'll bring in... One more, I think, up here. There, now we have our inside stamped, too. Okay, and just like our first card, we've got our matching envelope to go with our card. How? Flippin' easy was that. Okay, we are like only a half hour into my live and I've made two beautiful cards already. I'm still usually stamping my first card <laughs> half an hour in. All right, I've got one more to show you because that's how easy these things are. <laughs> so let me get some of my stuff out of the way. Oops. All right, so for this one, let's grab our card base and our envelope. We know the drill, right? What's next? We got to burnish those edges. So we fold that envelope over, get a good fold. Yes, so easy, Gail. Love it. Does all the work. And all of these patterns go together so well. Okay. <clears throat> For this card, I'm. this looks like something you could write some notes on. I don't do a lot of scrapbooking these days, so I knew I probably wouldn't use... Maybe I'd use this strip, but I probably wouldn't use this side. But this side, definitely going to use. And I'm going to glue that right down to my card base. I wish I had my seal. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to glue that in the center. 
So that's the other thing that I love about the uh, Memories and More pack with the <clears throat> envelopes and bases is how all this, these sizes, I didn't have to do anything. This is the size it came. I just glued it on and we already have a great layer, the perfect size for our card base. And you can just see those little dandelions just peeking right through around. Super easy. Okay, now I'm actually going to clean off some of these stamps because I'm a little nervous. I'm going to drop something on them and ruin my card layer. I don't want that to happen. Okay. Now I am going to use two other stamps here. I'm bringing in my circle punches, two and a quarter and two inches. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this saying, the sentiment in here that says, may good things grow all year long. I really liked that one. <clears throat> okay. And I've got a scrap of Whisper White here. I'm going to take my two inch punch and just punch out a two inch circle. Grab my scrap paper. And then in Mossy Meadow, I need, and I need my bumblebee. Okay, I'm going to take my Mossy Meadow and stamp my sentiment. Not stamping off or anything. I know I've done that a bit here. I'm going to stamp that right here in my circle. Just like this. Okay. And then while I'm at it, let's quick stamp the inside of our card. I'm going to do my flowers again. This one I will stamp off. And I'll just stamp this here. And then I think I'll do a little one here. And maybe one more tucked right in here. Okay, so we've got some flowers stamped on the inside of our card. Done with our mossy meadow. And clean this off on my chamois. My other favorite tool besides stamp and seal. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Okay, and now with my bumblebee, I'm going to take and I'm just going to dab just these little flowers in my ink. And then I'm going to come in and stamp them here in this open area on my circle. You see that? So you've got a little flower peeking up on the edge of your circle. Okay. Clean this off. And I'm going to use this coral side of the card. But I don't want it to say this week. So I've got my two and a quarter circle punch and I'm just going to punch this out and make sure this is centered. Now, if you want to save this, I guarantee you can find a way to use it. And we are going to put this right on our card front. Pop this up on dimensionals. Okay. 
Now I want this good and sturdy. So I'm gonna make sure. <clears throat> so put a few of these on, maybe a few more than I normally would. How do you like these colors? I really love these colors together. So you can see, even if I was using this other side, these colors go so great together. All right, now I wanna center this, do my best to center it before I push it down. Like, I think this looks pretty centered to me. Okay. And now we've got our circle punch here that's going to go right in the middle. Put some dimensionals on there. I got this idea from a Christmas card I made this year. You might remember my live that I did the essential tag punch with a similar layout. Center that circle right in there. Cute, what do you think? And you know I gotta have a little bit of ribbon. So I'm just gonna cut a piece here and I will tie this in just a little bow. I cut way too big of a piece. Probably can get two bows out of this. So that's okay, just save the ends. <clears throat> yeah, like this. And grab my glue dot. And I'm gonna stick this right here on my circle, right below my sentiment. And our card is done. Isn't that cute? What do you think, guys? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun playing with these. I could have gone for hours and hours playing with these memories and more pieces. They are just beautiful. So we've got one. Two, three cards tonight with this card pack. So incredibly easy. Beautiful colors that go together. I just, I love it. And I could play for days with this stuff, guys. Like I'm already looking at this and thinking, ooh, that would make a really pretty card put a little tag sentiment across here, pop it up on the center of this card, you have a card. So I love these memories and more packs. You got a little glimpse into my Dragonfly garden set. This is what I'm gonna build my online class around. Um, <clears throat> so you will love it. You will love it, it's awesome. Um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can shop my online store on a link on my blog, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. There's just a few days left for my December host code, December 2020 host code, G43ZNZBB. I so appreciate your support when you buy from me. And um, if your order is under 150 bucks, use this code. If it's over 150 bucks, skip the code because you will be getting um, some uh, rewards. That's the word from Stampin' Up. And um, I want you to have those rewards. But here's the deal. If your order is over 150 bucks, we should chat because you should be getting 20% off that um, order. And I can tell you how to do that. Um, Okay, so Lorraine asked, what items are you using? 
And Lorraine, I'm going to turn off my light here. I think you mean for my Dragonfly Garden card. Actually, let me flip this back around. For my Dragonfly Garden class, I will be using the Dragonfly Garden bundle. And um, the link will go live on the 5th because I can't show you anything until that day from inside the catalog, but I'll be using this bundle. I will be using these metallic pearls. Um, and so for those of you who buy the kit, these will be included, um, the metallic pearls. I will also be using the Dandy Garden Designer Series Paper Pack. You'll get a half a pack of this. Isn't that pretty? I hope you can see these. Let's take these out. We'll get a half a pack. There's like tons of beautiful designs. They look a lot like the Memories and More pack. <clears throat> and let's see what else is in there. Oh, you'll also get a spool I'm also using. And when you buy the class, you get a spool of the braided linen trim. So that's also in there. Um, so that'll go live on the 5th. And I'll tell you more about that in my um, catalog kickoff next week on Monday. So... Thank you for asking. That's a great question, Lorraine. Um, also, when you buy uh, this class for me, you will qualify for a free celebration item. And I'll talk more about that as well on Monday. Um, a lot of those goodies. Okay, ladies. I am, thank you, Jody. Sign me up, Rose. I'm in. That's awesome, Lorraine. I will get you on the list. I've had so many people asking me about these um, classes. So I cannot wait for you guys to see the cards. All right, um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am really looking forward to seeing you again next Monday. I hope that John and I catch a ton of fish as we're fishing this week. Uh, we'll be ice fishing and uh, we love to do some ice fishing. So I will have to try and post some pictures of some of our fish. Um, but I for sure will be here next Monday with you at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you're following my Facebook page so that you don't miss up. Um, I've got a couple questions coming through. Marsha's asking, are you able to buy more colors of the braided linen trim? Um, so for Christmas time, they had a red, a real red, and that is retired now. In the big catalog, they have this kind of neutral color. Um, they do not have any other colors besides these two that I know of right now. Although in the big catalog, I'd have to look if there is a different color that comes in a combo pack. Um, so this one you can get in the big catalog. I use it all the time because it's nice and neutral. And sometimes I don't have a color that exactly matches my card. So I'll just grab this and do the neutral one. Um, I've been using this a ton from the spring catalog. So um, I love that. Uh, Lorraine asks, where do we sign up for the class? Um, you will, I'll share a link here on my Facebook page. Also, if you um, get my email newsletter, I will have an email all about it. I will post a blog about it. I'll post the link um, all sorts of places. I can't have it go live yet because it has images from the catalog and I can't share those yet until next week. So as soon as I'm able to share those images, I will blast the link everywhere for you to sign up um, and we'll get that going. You'll have three options to purchase the class. Um, I kind of have a like it, love it, gotta have it all sort of option. Um, and so one will include like the bundle and all the goodies. One will be just all the goodies and the pre-cut cardstock pack will come with both of them. 
And then one is available globally to demonstrators outside of the US if they just want to purchase the tutorials. So really excited. Okay, ladies, I am going to finish um, getting all my ice fishing stuff together for our venture out tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful week and a very happy and healthy and safe new year because I won't be back here um, to see you before New Year's. And I'll be stamping with you again on the 4th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right. Bye. Have a great night, guys.